Today we're here with Eleanor Carlson. She's a professor at the University of Massachusetts Medical School and the Broad Institute of Harvard and MIT. Thanks for being with us today, Eleanor. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Very good. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the focus of your research? Uh, so I'm interested in understanding how genetics in dogs actually affects how they behave. So our pet dogs have this amazing differences in behavior between them from the dog that loves to retrieve a ball for hours and hours to a dog that loves to sleep on the couch. And what I'm really trying to figure out with my research is how do you actually change DNA, so change that kind of string of A, C's, G's, and T's to change the behavior of something as complicated as a whole animal, as a whole dog. And how has the Applied Biosystems Axiom Technology helped you in your research, um, and, and why did you choose it? Um, so what it turns out is that in order to study something complicated like behavior, you actually need to look at a lot of dogs. And in the past, we used to spend a lot of time working with dogs that were from breed populations. So we would look only at golden retrievers, or we would look only at chihuahuas. And what we discovered was that if we wanted to study something complicated like behavior where we needed a lot of dogs, we actually needed to look at all of the dogs. We needed to look both at the dogs that were purebred, but we also needed to look at all of the mixed breed dogs out there and all of the mutts and all of the dogs we have no idea where they come from. And the resources and the tools that we had available didn't give us the density of information that the Axiom Array gives us. The Axiom Array gives us much more information about the genetics of each individual dog, and that makes it much easier for us to combine all that information and learn something about something complicated like behavior. Why do you have to look at kind of crossbreeds and purebreds? Why is that necessary? So it turns out the dogs are all dogs. And so by looking only at the purebred dogs, we were only getting a little bit of a piece of the puzzle. We were only seeing what was in that one population of dogs. Oh, By looking at all the dogs, we actually understand much more about everything that's going on in that population. What's the biggest challenge that you guys are facing, I guess, with canine research today? Well, the biggest challenge I'm facing is that I want a lot more dogs. And so what we've been doing is we've been trying to kind of um, engage a lot more dog owners in our research. And, but the other challenge we have is that we need this kind of dense information to understand each dog because we're getting these really complicated dogs. We get dogs that are just a mix of a lot of different things. And so the biggest challenge for us was understanding how we could actually get information for a lot of dogs, but get dense information at the same time. And that's kind of what the Axiom gives us. So it's giving us a lot of information on each individual dog, but it's doing it in a way that means that for each individual dog, it doesn't cost us as much money as getting, say, a whole genome sequence. And because of that, we can actually run a lot more dogs and get the number and the sample sizes up. What do you feel is the biggest value um, the Applied Biosystems Axiom Canine HD Array brings to the canine community? So the biggest challenge that's facing our research is that we need a lot more dogs that are involved in our research. And this is why we're reaching out to the whole dog community, you know, every dog out there rather than just the purebred ones, and why we need this kind of density of information. We could get a lot of information on each dog by doing something like genome sequencing, but that's still very, very expensive, and we can't do that. We can't do that and also get large numbers of dogs. So by using the Axiom Array product, we can actually both get a very large sample size, but on each individual dog, we could also get a lot of genetic information. And so by combining that kind of power of a large sample size and dense information, we're going to be able to find things that we couldn't find if we didn't have that combination of factors. Well, thank you so much for all the information today. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here.